to be ashamed of that uh, as uh, there is a hadith Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم if uh, when we pray in the Haram Mecca it will equal to 100,000 prayers so if we pray there for a week or for a month we can be not enough for all of us it is equal to it is equal to one side it is equal to 100,000 prayers well, you have to look at what is the purpose of prayer. You know, first, understand what is the purpose of prayer. The purpose of prayer is the remembrance of God. Aqim is salah the decree. Establish the prayer for my remembrance. So this is why we pray, to remember God. In the camera, and Allah SWT will say that, in our prayer, I give 50 years in this word. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're thinking in terms of numbers. You know, this is what you're thinking in terms of numbers. But as I'm telling you, the purpose of prayer is the remembrance of God. It is not an issue of numbers. Allah is not going to look on the day of, of Qiyamah, the day of, of resurrection. How many prayers did this man make? <laughs> you know? So the more you make, the better off you are. It's not the numbers. It is the quality of the prayer. So if you are making a ritual prayer here, just going through the motions, you know, like a workout, a physical exercise, aerobics, and you go and you do one there and it's worth a thousand of these here, it's still useless. Useless. The one which you do sincerely from your heart is better here than the one which you do as a ritual there. You understand? So what Allah has done for us because of the fact of the significance of Mecca the place where the first house of worship to God in the sense, to which pilgrimage, pilgrimage is encouraged for us to go. Going for what purpose? Going for the remembrance of God. So, Allah, through His grace, He multiplies the reward of your prayer there. Be sure, there are plenty of people in Mecca Praying there and getting zero for their prayers. And people praying here and getting reward that those people will never see. So it is about the remembrance of God. Those added blessings are added blessings for those who remember God. So when a person understands what it is, the purpose of prayer, then he is not concerned about numbers anymore. If he is not calculating and thinking, if I have 50 more years to live, in 50 years if I pray five times every day, this is going to work out such a number. Now if I go to Mecca and I pray so many times that will cover for my 50 years, I don't have to pray anymore. No, no. You see, this is a person who does not understand the purpose of prayer. He's thinking in terms of numbers. And what kind of prayer do you think he's going to make there? In fact, the people are praying 20 rakat of Taraweeh in general. It's just going through the motion. It's going up and down. And it's 20. When is it going to end? When is the Bab going to finish? You know, this is the motion. That's why Prophet Muhammad said, didn't give us 20. He gave us 8. Something you can handle easily. But people made 20 for themselves. So they go through the motion. They feel they have to do the 20 going through. What benefit? So this is what you should keep in mind. The purpose of prayer is the remembrance of God. So if you remove that prayer from your life, then you forget God. And when you forget God, you become a devil. This is what it is. You want to be a servant of God or a devil? This <laughs> is what you have to decide. 
When you give up prayer, you become a devil, an evil person. This is why prayer is there for us. We organize our day around the remembrance of God. It is the basis of righteousness. The police in Bangladesh, I just read in the paper with it today, five policemen, people who are there to uphold the law, they took a young girl going to school, raped her, cut her throat and left her to die. These people are Muslim men, they are not Christian. Now, these people were people there upholding the law. Why were they upholding the law? Because it was a job. They did what they were supposed to do as long as they thought that they couldn't get away with not doing it. When they found an opportunity, when they thought nobody is going to know, we can kill this girl, she's finished, we can take our pleasure, kill her and go, they did it. They were devils because they were not upholding the law for fear of God. See the difference? In America, back in the early 80s, I went to visit New York shortly after the light, the electricity, the electrical grid of New York was shut down for two days and nights. When I got there, it looked like Germany after World War II. <laughs> Stores were busted open, you know, it was just... And they were showing pictures on the television of what was happening, because the camera crews had gone around with big, uh, you know, beam lights and were... <laughs> there were people coming to the stores, you know, everybody! Not just the poor people. People were driving up in their Mercedes Benzes and... What happened, the poor people, they were going to the grocery stores, you know, the uh, supermarkets. The ones in the Mercedes Benzes, they were going up to the fur stores and the, and the jewelry stores. Why were people doing this? Because no lights, no police, nobody knows. So they feel they can get away with it. So they will go and make crime. This is why you find throughout the Quran. Allah talks and gives reference to different prophets or individuals, you know, of evil happening to them when they forgot Allah. Satan caused them to forget Allah and they went astray. So this is why prayer is there as an institution in your life. As a Muslim it becomes a part of your life. Just like you breathe, you pray. You need to breathe to live. You need to pray to reach paradise, to live eternally in pleasure. So this is the purpose of prayer. And when you understand that, then you don't play the numbers game. Okay? Well, he didn't say, do not fast only on the tenth. He said, if I were to live to the coming year, I would have fasted either a day 